What's up YouTube, Barcode here. Today I bring you another Air of Light video. Today's video is going to be about my personal opinion on a NAT4 tier list. Uh, today's tip is pretty much going to evolve around that. It's whether to feed or keep a NAT4. Now, in this point in the game where half of the servants have the same skill sets, which is this typical uh, defense break and then, you know, attack or crit rate second skill and then this ultimate is 28 90 2890 percent damage upon use um i would keep if it's not a duplicate i would keep every net four that you obtain and just lock it put it in the barracks if you get a duplicate um and you you know be be okay to feed it off as a skill up or to five star something else it's up to you um I personally keep every net four that I get that's not a duplicate just because you never know when something's going to change, servant updates, etc. There's so much room for improvement with a second awakening that for a lot of servants do not matter at all. It's just cosmetic. Um, and like I said, the skill sets are the same. So just keep your net fours if it's not a duplicate. Uh, today I will post my nat4 spreadsheet on google documents and put it in the description below in this channel um, but i will just go over the basic top pvp pve tower defense omen um, and then each top of every element okay so let's start with pvp system um, so with pvp i split it up in four different categories healer dps tank support obviously is what we have um, and I put a lot of light and dark nat 4s at the top of the list, but since they're not highly obtainable easily, uh, I also put a alternate normal element that you may receive. Um, so I have two for some and just one for each, um, depending if the light and dark has any good options. So let's start with the top healers. Uh, so for healers, um, I want to go for PvP, we have We'll start with Fire Gracilda. Uh, Fire Gracilda, she does have, if I could find her, because oh, I'm on that floor, so that makes sense. Fire Gracilda, okay. <clears throat> PvP, she's pretty good if she's pretty fast. Um, say you use Ishmael, Fire Gracilda, and a DPS. Uh, the DPS is going to take out the tank first. Um, and then go for the DPS and Fire Gracilda is usually always last depending on your element choice when you, what you take into the battle. Um, but she does get a res of 30% HP. Um, so if Ishmael dies and reses Ishmael uh, a, and the DPS has the ultimate up already fully skill gauged, um, it doesn't reset the zero. It's at max. So that DPS will go out and throw out an ultimate at the next global cooldown. Um, so good thing to note. Um, I've been in long battles with a Fire Gracilda against her. I don't have her. Um, but against her, just because I all take, you know, either a save team or a double DPS team, take out the tank, take out the DPS. Fire Gracilda always reses the master first if there's two people down. So then Ishmael's back up. Got to take him down again without any ultimates, etc. So, so she is a good option for a net four um, healer in PvP. The for light and dark, because I had her as well. Um, pretty comparable is Light Mary. Now, Light Mary, she, her first skill only heals the tank, and in DPS, I mean in PvP, that's really the only person that's going to be hit at first um, but if you make her fast she'll throw out a second heal so the first one heals allies under attack for 30 percent and then she does have a second skill that has a shield that for all allies which is good um, and then she heals hp of all allies based on her defense so she's a defensive mo monster she has a high base defense and she's just a heal bot pretty much um, she also every skill she uses uh, increases the defense of the tank class level three. So if you use Ishmael, for example, he'll do a, a level four defense buff. If um, on a taunt, if she does an active skill, it'll automatically go up to level five. So it, she's good to have in PvP. Um, 
for a top DPS. Um, I'll go for the light and dark first since I'm already here. Um, and it is light Usher. 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 Um, so his passive is amazing and he does a ton of DPS. So if he dies, um, he instantly recovers 30% of his HP and increases defense to level 5. Um, so this means he's not going to have any debuffs when he comes back. He's going to have a defense level 5. And he hits hard. He, he, he hits super hard. His ultimate hits super hard. Um, I've seen it hit up to 80,000 um, with no armor break. Um, and not many people have him, obviously. My old guildmate, Zaxel, had him, but he quit for some reason. Uh, no, what? Don't know why. Um, he also has um, a silence, which is nice, um, and then a defense break. So he's just all around a top light and dark DPS for PvP. Um, for normal elements, I actually chose Forest Belladonis. Um, the reason being is in PvP, usually whoever gets the ultimate all first usually wins most of the time, and she does have a 26% speed lead in PvP. All of her skills are based off of speed. It also reduces the enemy skill gauge her ultimate does by 20%, which is good. Um, and also she boosts her own speed. So N has a defense break on that. It, she's just a great monster to have in PvP. Um, you know, <laughs> Ishmael, Fire Gracilda, and Belladonis is pretty good defense and offense um, so just you know it's my opinion um, but that's that's what I chose uh, for top tank um, I actually put in the same category Forest Grisilda um, Forest Grisilda she has a great passive when she is f below 50% health um, then you your the healer is increased by 50%, which is huge. If you use Mia as a as a master, put her on Petrify, she gives the 20% uh, HP bonus in her skills, uh, and makes Grisilda super super high health tanky monster. And then she gets healed for even more when she's below 50%. So if you run, you know. A, for example, uh, I, I believe it's uh, Hybrid or Shadow Drake. He uses Forest Grisilda, Mia, and then he uses Fire Lilo. Um, and it, it's just a great defense. It's hard. Petrify is broken right now. It's bugged. It stuns for 10 to 12 seconds sometimes. Um, and when your tank gets stunned by Petrify, everybody else hits the D DPS. So it's... Um, it's a great combo, Mia and Forest Crystal in PvP, and I would recommend using it. Uh, for top support, supports in PvP are debatably debatable to use, really, um, just because of the short time frame, um, and they don't really bring much, um, but it just depends. If there's a support that has a lot of AoE skills, you can put it on Petrify, um, and, you know, Profit because Petrify is broken, um, but for PvP, I didn't really have many choices because there's not many Nat Four um, supports in this game actually. Um, so I did choose Fire Belladonis um, as a top normal, uh, and that's because she does buff speed by level three and defense of level three. Um, she does block healing. Um, she reduces the skill gauge of all enemies, so if she's super, super fast, she can get that off, uh, reduce the skill gauge of everyone, and they can't alt. Also decreases the enemy's defense, so um, you could necessarily take a, in the mid-range of a speed nuker, um, and, but have Fire Bell Donna's go super fast, have her use her alt, reduce the skill gauge, skill gauge of everybody else, they can't ultimate your... Nuker goes second, and then GG. Um, they do in, uh, increase the speed of a hero class, but I wouldn't recommend using a healer in PvP uh, if you use Fire Belt on us because you're going to need a tank and a nuker. So, um, but that's who I choose for a fire, uh, a normal element support. Uh, for a top support in PvP for light and dark, um, I actually chose Dark Mary. Dark Mary has a AoE cleanse, um, which is very good, uh, which is 
right here on her ultimate. So if you have her super fast as well, buffs defense level five to everyone and removes one debuff from allies. So if your tank has an armor break and she's super fast, she'll get the um, the cleanse off. Um, I would, if, if I used any support, I'd probably use fire Veldonis, but um, this says reduce speed of all allies. But um, I don't have her, so I couldn't test her. But I believe it's increase the speed of all allies and not reduce the speed of all enemies. If it's to re reduce the speed of all enemies, I would put Petrify on her. Um, and then she also disrupts healing um, and increases the skill gauge of the tank class when she uses active skills. Um, pretty well off. She also has a 39% effect resist uh, PvP passive. So that can be huge. Uh, so let's go over to PvE. Uh, for a top healer for PvE, I did choose Fire Gracilda. As I mentioned before, she buffs AoE uh, to the whole team, and I believe that's a level 4 if I can get up to her. Um, or level 3, sorry. But if you use, say, her and Fire Usher um, in F7 or wherever you are, um, you know, it's pretty much constant, at least a level 3 defense buff AoE, if not level 5 at all times. Um, for and that's the only healer I have for PVE wise um, and when I mean PVE it's mainly you know world map things like that um, she has a heal that's based off of her defense so tanker the better and then her ultimate grants immunity to all allies so it, it is good to have every skill she does takes one debuff off the tank class um, she's a great mon definitely worth the investment uh, top DPS for PVE uh, I will go with the normal element first because I do have a, a dark that is a little bit better. But for world map, I chose uh, Forest Enoch. Um, he has level 4 defense break, attack buff, and then his ultimate hits huge damage when you have good runes uh, based off of the target's max HP. Um, when you waken him, every skill he uses has a 50% chance to actually block healing and this can be huge especially on those you know light Mary dungeons for example where Mary has two heals you can bring dark dunkle hound and then far Enoch and make sure one heal block is up and when Mary heals then you use Enoch or dunkle hound to put up another heal block so it's definitely huge to have um, for a dark choice, if you are lucky enough to actually get him, um, it's the Dark Enoch. Dark Enoch is a crazy, has a crazy skill set. Um, increases damage done uh, by level 4 on his first. Damage based on his target's max HP on the second skill, which is nice. Increases attack for 60 seconds. And then deals damage that ignores defense on his last skill great skill gauge. Every time he uses a skill, inc decreases the enemy skill gauge by 25%. Great. He's just great. And then he adds a 20% speed bonus for if he uses passive. Um, if you're lucky to have him, congratulations, especially for a nat 4. Um, I, I would love to have him. Um, top tank. Uh, top tank. I'll go with the light since I'm already down here. Uh, light Enoch. Now, he is the he, he's one of two Nat 4 light tanks, but there is no light Nat 5 tank currently. So if you're using an all light team for PvP per se, or anything, um, he's the best one to get. Um, increases defense by 25%. His skill, skill set is great for a tank, uh, taunt, and reduces enemies' attack. Uh, increases defense by a level 4 and also deals damage based on his max HP. So a tank is built tanky and then he does damage based off of that which is nice. His ultimate does hit pretty well um, but he increases all the allies attack by level 4 which is huge. Um, whenever the healer class is under attack he has a 50% chance um, to taunt the enemy whenever the healer gets hit. So that, that's a huge tank. I mean, it's, it's a huge skill for passive for a tank to have. Um, so he is uh, great for PvE. Uh, the normal element PvE tank I would choose is Fire Usher. Uh, Usher. Usher! Um, so for PvE, and when I mean PvE world map, 
Uh, he has a level four to all allies defense buff, and it stuns um, when you use it. It's it's a, a great skill just for him. Um, he does grant immunity to all allies, not too much of a big deal, but also his passive skill, all damage taken by the healer becomes zero during a taunt, and I think a bug whenever he's crowd controlled. Uh, my healer automatically gets this buff, um, so it could be a bug to that too. And um, Fire Usher takes 50% of the original damage instead. So yeah, he does take a little bit more damage, but he is the tank, he is meant to take more damage. Um, and the healer is there to support the tank and keep him up, so it's, it's just a great passive to have. He also has a defense buff of 25%, just like Light Enough. So, good PV tank to have. Um, I only chose one support uh, for PVE, to, and that's because there's the lack of supports, and it's just Fire Bell Donis. I already talk, talked about her, um, but she's just a good team buffer, uh, skill gauge decreaser of the enemy. Uh, let's go over to tower defense. Uh, so for tower defense, uh, for a top healer, I chose Light Mary. We already talked about her. Two heals. It's hard for um, it's hard for you to not auto it, but manually put on heal block, especially if they doesn't resist. Um, so healers have seemed to be the way to go for tower defense on the most part, or high HP tanks with some nice utility to it, um, but good to have. A, a normal element, which we haven't talked about yet, um, is fires. Forest Hearn. Uh, so Forest Hearn, uh, he has um, a speed reduce, um, a level three. Heals all allies, which would be himself in tower defense for 40%. Um, I think it goes up to 60 some um, after the, or it's like high 50s after full skill ups. And his ultimate gives him a shield, um, which is nice in tower defense. Um, so he has good base defense. You know, most healers have good base defense, but he has good stats when he's at six star. Um, so just my recommendation for a tower defense. For top DPS for tower defense, Light Usher, we already talked about him. That revive is huge and 30%. If you put him on Vampire on tower defense, I mean, just it's going to be hard to, to get past him. Um, I'd love to pull him. Um, second defensive monster for a normal element, which we haven't talked about yet, is Water Usher. Usher, Water Usher. Um, now, most of you might be familiar with Water Usher. Some compare him to Summoner's War Barf Copper, um, but he does decrease defense, deals damage based on defense on his second skill and his ultimate. Um, his passive, however, is what makes him shine. 50% chance to deal damage ignoring the enemy's defense if Usher's defense is higher than the enemy's defense. Okay, um, It's a random crapshoot, but it's huge. I mean, again, if you don't use him for anything else and you put him on Vampire, um, defensive monster, give him high resist, and he's going to be healing and a chance to ignore defense and one-shot your tank, especially when the stat buffs that you get in tower defense, it just could be huge. Um, a top tank for tower defense would be Fire Torhino. Um, and this is my personal opinion now, but because of all the stat boosts that you get with Fire Torino, I wouldn't use him anywhere else but tower defense. Um, he taunts, He obviously he's a tank, he reduces the enemy's crit rate. Um, his heal, he heals himself as a tank, which not many have besides like a heal over time. This heal amount is based off attack, however when you get that stat boost from tower defense towers, he can heal for a lot. Give him high resist so he, you know, resists the heal blocks and could be good. Um, his ultimate will decrease, increase his own defense to a level four. Um, and, you know, he has the HP fire passive. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure if the passives of each character works in tower defense. Um, I'll have to research that a little bit more and maybe make a comment in the video. But um, if it did, it's even a better reason why to use him in tower defense. Um, I actually do have him 
pretty much tied um, with another normal element for tower defense, and that's Forest Grisilda. We already talked about her, but in tower defense, her ultimate gives her a heal over time, a level 5, um, which is huge. Anybody with sustain, um, high HP, high defense, um, and you put her I mean, floor 4 or higher um, and have all the extra tower passives, it, it, she's just, she can shine there. Um, top support, um, tower defense, like I said, there's not many. Um, good tower, I, I put in Fire Belladonna's. I personally probably wouldn't use her um, or or the other support which I chose is Light Hearn. If, if I had Light Hearn, I would probably use him over Fire Belladonna's. Um, and that's just because he has a heal over time um, and, re and removes his own debuffs on the second skill. Um, he also decreases defense enemy speed um, so it's he would be really my only choice for tower defense but if you had a normal element that you wanted to put in as a support fire bell Donuts would be the one um, but yeah not many too good support choices for tower defense uh, let's go to omen or I, I put omen and abaddon in the same category um, for top healer I put water torhino now, we haven't talked about him, uh, Water Torhino, mainly because of Floor 10 of Omen, but also works well in uh, Abaddon. Um, so he has a HP passive of 37%. So if you take an all-water team to Floor 10, which is a Fire Dragon, use this passive, HP 37%, use Water Executioner, Water Carmilla, you know, whatever far as I mean water Grisilda it, it's a huge buff to your whole team and then you use you know say heed and then you know water Lucian support or something like that um, it's just it's, it, he is by far probably the best healer for omen or abaddon um, his skill set he has a level three damage over time which is great for high HP monsters heals the enemy all allies for 35 percent increases defense to level four um, and then also heals the HP which is this is a normal passive for healers but heals the tank class by 10 percent using skills so definitely um, in my opinion the top healer for omen and abaddon top dps there's a couple um, depending on what floor you're using floor f floor 10 you know it would be fire laura or light laura which i'm sure all of you guys are familiar with the lars uh, but i will go to that um, let's go to light laura first since not many people see her it's pretty much the same thing um, if i can find her let's see Man, am I blind? Yep, she looks different because she has white hair. Hot! Okay, um, so light damage over time, 15 seconds. Second skill is um, dark damage over time, level 3, 15 seconds. Her passive adds light damage over time, kind of like fire lighter with fire. Um, so every time she has a chance to proc this to add a level 4, so she can potentially put a level 4 light damage over time. Um, on one skill. And if you make her fast enough, she can proc it to a level 5. Um, now, where you see these skills with most of the Lars, it says deals, deals damage based on max HP. This is her max HP, and it doesn't include the damage over time. This is just the initial hit. Um, it doesn't do much damage, so I wouldn't build her like a, you know, like a speed crit damage HP or whatever. Just, just build her as tanky as you can so the AoE doesn't kill her and knock her down to 1 HP. Um, just build her tanky. Um, I'll go ahead and go to, oh she does have a HP dungeon buff as well so she's just, if you pull her, like I said, congratulations. Fire Larder, she has the passive of defense, um, 32, you know, good as well. I'd rather have the HP um, just personally for me, but she does the fire damage and shadow damage. Um, same kind of passive adds a level one uh, chance of proc same skill set uh, but definitely the best for omen those two if you're on level uh, floor seven fire lara you know obviously light lara is great too you could also use forest enoch we talked about him deals damage max hp forest enoch would also be good for floor six for people that are stuck on floor six um top tank for omen and abaddon i i chose all 
okay? It, it just depends. If you're on floor 10, floor 7, floor 5, floor 6, whatever, it just depends. They all do well, especially if they're built correctly on good routes. Um, it just depends on who you're facing. And in Abaddon, you need pretty much almost all tanks to be... Um, reliable unless you do the cheesy ultimate executioner ultimate speed run which you pretty much can go probably go to floor 100 um, but that's you know I, I just chose all uh, top support like I said not many choices uh, we haven't talked about her though it would be water Lara uh, I wouldn't necessarily build her if you especially if you have fire Lara or light Lara for example um, but if you needed a water support um, if you're trying to make you know, a, f a whole fire team, a whole forest team, a whole water team, you know, she could be useful. She has an attack break, level 3, increases defense, level 4, talk to your whole team, disrupts HP, um, she does water damage, a level 5 dot, um, decreases the defense, um, removes debuffs on the healer, um, she also has a speed dungeon, um, so for her passive, she's just a good support for especially Abaddon um, and you could even use her in floor 10 um, but it just depends on what the game gives you in your summons so those are my top choices for healers damage tank and support uh, throughout the four categories um, now in my spreadsheet down here I did grade them um, and I ranked them according to PvP, PvE, Tower Defense, and Omen. So quickly I will go over the top elements per class. So for tank I have Fire Usher, like I said before we talked about him before, level 4 AoE defense, um, it's just, just great to have. Um, water would be Water Executioner for that cheesy ultimate. Um, if you max him out and make him speed, you can pretty much not die depending on your team comp. Um, so you could pretty much, and it's a slow run, but you could do that and never die and progress if you have the time to manual things. Um, Forest would be Forest Grisilda. Uh, Forest Grisilda, we talked about her. Light Enoch, we talked about her, uh, him. Um, I do want to talk about the dark, best dark tank, in my opinion, would be Dark Executioner. He brings a little bit more damage to your team. Uh, his second skill does damage based off of his defense, which is good for a tank to have. You're building it with tank defense anyway, HP, etc. Um, his ultimate deals damage based off of defense, um, increases the defense of himself and the healer uh, when attacked by skills, and it stacks up to 10 times. So for a tank to be tanky and hit hard, he's huge. PvP, um, I actually had him near the top, um, you know, debatable with Light Enoch, but to me, for PvE, I chose Light Enoch because you can use Ophelia, put her on Petrify, and stun people for 15 hours. So, fix that. Um, but, great, Dark Tank. Supports, Fire Belladonis, we talked about her. Um, Water Lara, we talked about her. For Forest, th there was pretty much one choice, um, and that's Fire Kume. Um, not saying she's necessarily good, um, but she does have a strip. She increases defense of all allies. Uh, she does have skill reducing gauge by 25%, which can be good for a Abaddon if you need a far support. Um, and you can increase the skill gauge of the healer. Not very good. I wouldn't necessarily build her if you have other good supports, um, but that's up to you. I'm just giving you the best net for Forest, and she's the only one. Um, light, we talked about Light Hearn, and Dark, we talked about Dark Mary. Or did we? Yes, we did. All right, so damage dealers. Um, I put melee and ranged in the same category here. On my tier list, I did not. Um, but in the top elements per class, I put them in the same. Uh, for fire, I put fire Lara. Pretty much tied with fire Hopkins. Uh, fire Lara if you're a dot team. Fire Hopkins if you were a burst team. Uh, I will go to Fire Hopkins since I didn't go over him. He's easy to build on a crit damage build because he self buffs his crit rate. So that's why I chose him over most of the others. Um, because you can build him attack crit damage attack much easier and have less need for um, crit rate subs or crit rate in slot 4. So good fire DPS. Uh, for water, I did water usher. And I, I put asterisks 
on my tier list, um, and that's just because if he ignores the defense, then he is the top damage. Um, you know, Water Kume is great. Um, even Water Charlotte is great. Um, but he is by far the best if the ignored damage procs goes off. Uh, for Forest, I did Forest Enoch and Forest Belladonna, so we talked about both of them. Um, for Light, Light Usher, talked about him. Light Laura, talked about her. For Dark, Dark Enoch, obviously, and Dark Belladonna's. I chose Bar uh, tie with Dark Belladonna's with Enoch, and that's just because of her speed. Everything is based off speed. She speed buffs herself. Uh, she has the speed passive. Um, so she's just good to use in PvP. Um, oh, she doesn't have the speed passive for PvP, so I apologize about that. But everything is based off of speed. She buffs her own speed, um, so she's just an awesome, also a great dark DPS if you manage to pull it. For healers, Fire Grisilda, we talked about her. Uh, Water Torhino, talked about him. Forest Mary, we haven't talked about her, and I have him, her tied with Hearn. Um, they both are pretty well off and pretty good. Um, she does a damage over time, which could be used for F7. Um, so good healer there, a bad and good healer um, with the damage over time. Heals all allies for 50% of caster's max HP. Um, so this is why I kind of don't have one or the other over each other because they both heal different ways. She can be super tanky and heal for more. She's pretty much a Mia, but not a master she also has the shield on her ultimate so she, same skill set pretty much um, but she does have a chance of healing HP of tank class um, and this is a level 3 so in PvP she gives an attack buff of 32% so she is very good to use in PvP as well um, I I have Fire Grisilda over her just because of the res um, but she was my second choice uh, for PvP um, for Light, Light Mary, and for Dark, I don't have one because there is not one. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy the tier list. Um, like I said, it's my opinions. Um, I do go into a lot of research and learn about every single servant in, in this game as much as I can and try to make my best um, judgment on their skill sets and where I think they would be best. So please, like comment, subscribe to my channel. Um, please comment below if you agree, disagree, criticism, whatever you'd like. Um, so thanks for guys. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.